Hello everybody and welcome here to Airgun Web where we tell you the facts not fluff. Today we're going to take a look at the new Airventury Double Shot. We saw this at SHOT Show 2018. We've got it here. We're going to have some fun with it. Stay with us. Now, I, uh, I'm not wearing a lapel mic today. I left the regular old mic on the camera. I want you guys to hear sort of the conditions we have out here. It's a little bit windy, and I don't know if that's gonna make any difference when we're doing some shooting, but we're gonna take a couple shots here, and then we're gonna go out in the field and see if we can find some game, maybe rustle up a jackrabbit or two, and then wrap up, maybe get a couple collared doves. That would be optimal. Let's see if we can do that. Conditions are beautiful. It's about 84 degrees, sunny. Just gorgeous, not too windy, but it's a little bit breezy. Now let's go ahead and walk through some of the particulars of the gun here. It's double barreled. Now the way you're gonna load this, you slide both of these open, load your rounds up in here, whether it's again, round ball, shot. If we're gonna use round ball or the air bolt, you're gonna need to take these chokes off and then the air bolt loads from the muzzle. So once you have these open, we're gonna go ahead and get our shot shells out. Now I'm using number eight right now to test our pattern. If I'm going out hunting, I'm probably going to want to use number six shot. It's a little bit heavier, especially on something like jackrabbit. I'm just shooting collar dove. I'll probably stick with the eight because I want a bigger, I want more BBs in the uh, going down the barrel. So you just set that in here, set this in here. Now, what I like to do is just kind of make sure that's just seated snug up there. So you just use another cartridge, just kind of snug it up in there. That way it doesn't fall out when you're walking in the woods. Okay. Now that's basically it. This is how you're going to operate this shot selector. Right now, there's a green line on the L. That's set up for the left barrel. You're going to rotate this. We have a red line for the right barrel. Uh, when you're going to shoot, we'll go ahead and just shoot real quick here. But I'm going to start with the right. Then you're going to cock it all the way back. It is a two-stage hammer. So... If, you're, uh, if you want full power, go all the way back. If you want half power, don't know why you'd want you know, less power. You can only half cock it and then you're all set. When we go to shoot the next target, we're just gonna roll this knob, cock it again and fire. So you've got two shots basically at the ready, which is very cool. Now let's see what it does on target. Be right back. So let's go ahead and put some lead on target here. The first thing we wanna do is fill up our gun. We'll flip this over, pop this off. Now I am using the Air Venturi regulated bottle here because I really like the fact that you can't overfill your gun. It goes right to the right pressure which is right around uh, 200 bar and you're good to go. We're going to bleed it. We're all set. Now as far as topping off, you're probably going to get five or six good top offs, maybe a couple more depending on how often you fill up. And that's looking at, you're getting about four shots per fill, maybe five shots per fill. So 20, 30 shots, maybe 20, 25, 30 shots, depending on how you use it. Um, that's a lot of air, this thing's an air hog, but you are able to shoot a shotgun. So it's kind of a trade off there. I'm on the, let's start with the right barrel here. Okay, so we got the red on the right, we're gonna cock it. Now, I am new to shotguns, so hopefully I hit it. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Let's go ahead and roll over the left barrel. We'll hit it again. All right, so that is what we're getting out of this. That is pretty impressive. Just absolutely splattered that target. I'm going to reset on the 20 yard target, see what kind of pattern I'm getting there, and then we can know what our range is going to be when we take this out in the field. We'll see how we can do. Be right back. Okay, like I said before, these guns are air hogs. So I want to make sure I have the most power to reach out there. We'll go ahead and top it off again. Okay, so I've topped this off a few times and I've gone from 4,500 down to 4,000. So you may actually get more shots than I'm thinking. We're going to take this, top this off first, and then take it out in the field and we'll see how we do. 
All right, load up a couple more shells here. When it comes to sighting this, it's got a really nice bead sight. And what I found on the close target, is I actually just sort of set it just above where I wanted to hit with that bead and it just splattered it. So I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll see how it does out there at 20. Again, new to shotguns, so this is kind of a new experience for me. So let's see how it does here. Oh yeah, that peppered it good. Switch over to the other barrel. Just like that. You can really get that second shot off far more quickly now with that double barrel, which is probably going to be really cool out in the field, especially when we're trying to get those collared doves. I really hope we get into some today. That smoked him right at about 15 yards. Absolutely rolled him right over. That was awesome. So here we go. This is that shot I made just a couple minutes ago. We were about 15 yards out, give or take. And uh, boy, it just absolutely did the job, man. One shot, dropped him. I'm pretty happy we got this one first shot. The goats are howling at us. Yes, guys, we know. Every double shot here. This is why the double shot was such a great improvement over the standard wing shot. Saw this one underneath the bush. We're about 25 yards out. Took my shot. He ran a little bit, maybe 15 yards, if that. He's sort of laying there. And I had right, right with me, almost instantaneously, a follow-up shot to make sure I put him down cleanly. That's what's very cool about this. Now, when I came out here to look for jackrabbits, I did switch from the number eight shot, which is what we were using for the collared doves. I switched to the number six shot. A little heavier, got a little more punch, and you can see it definitely does the job. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this hunt. Stay with us, we're gonna do a wrap of the Air Venturi double shot. All right, guys, again, this is Rick Utzler, and this has been a lot of fun out here with the Air Venturi double shot. As I said, it'll do round ball, it'll do air bolts, but I really think it's, uh, it's best suited for these shot shells, number eight and number six. Number eight if you're out taking maybe some wing stuff, and number six if you got something a little bit tougher like jackrabbits or bunny rabbits, that kind of stuff, you're trying to clear out your garden. This thing is pretty cool. Does like a lot of air, so you're probably gonna wanna have an air source like a compressor or some sort of way to get air into this gun because I don't think you wanna hand pump it every four shots. Other than that, just a lot of fun, double barrel, it's lightweight, easy to handle, cycles well. It's just really, really simple, really, really effective. And if you're looking for that air shotgun, there you go, guys. All right, so before we go, I want to say a thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. When you guys are looking for your next air gun or looking to get your next batch of air gun supplies, please do so over at www.pyramidair.com and please let them know that Rick sent you their way. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.